Welcome back, graduates. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable review apps. Uh, the more common apps you'll see are uh, the Shopify review apps, and then there's Luke's, and then there's Judge Me, and then the more uh, paid higher versions are Okendo, Smile, um, things like that. So we're just going to do the uh, first one, and it's going to be the Shopify reviews. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Shopify dashboard. And if you don't have it already, um, I, I, I only have, you know, bundles, privacy and compliance and theme access. Um, so I'm going to go into here and there's a, a couple ways you can uh, go about this, but I'm just going to go into the apps and um, all review apps. And you can already see that Judge Me um, pro uh, product reviews are really um, common and also Luke's as well. So I'm just going to do the product reviews for right now. And I'm just going to click on easy install and just make sure that if you do have multiple stores, make sure it's the uh, correct My Shopify URL. So uh, it's under the correct one. So I'm just going to go and install the app. Now, after I install the app, um, I'm going to give Shopify a little bit to update. And you might see some, you know, styling errors or, you know, configurations. Uh, so this is now the next step that you see. Um, and it tells you add section, um, add reviews from the list of apps. And then here is what it looks like. So once I go into here, I'm just going to go and verify and continue. Um, now, it says you did not add the app correctly. and so what I'll do is I'll go back into a new tab, online store, and just check it out on my theme. And I'm going to go into my theme and click customize. What's, what I'm going to do after that is go into my app settings. And I don't have any apps right here. However, let's just uh, check out some places. I'm going to go on the product page. So to simply go on the product page, you can just click on a, uh, a product that is directly here and it'll go to the product page or you can go into your products in the navigation here in your customizer uh, default product. Uh, so once I'm into here, I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, go into add section and I'm not going to do add section in my footer because if you uh, add a section in the footer or in the header, it's going to display on all pages. Uh, so go into here and then I have two apps right over here. So I have 20 sections and two apps uh, working right now for me. So I'm going to go into review app. And once I'm into here, no reviews. And I'm just going to, you know, move this up above my related products um, right over here. And now I'm going to click save. So let's see what this looks like. You know, when I go into my preview state, I'm on a widescreen monitor, but scrolling down here, now I have customer reviews. So that looks great, and that is already integrated into the theme. So now I can go back into here, uh, into the app where I went to apps, and then my product reviews, depending on what app you use. This usually is the same logic with all app integrations as well. Um, it is the app's responsibility to configure to the theme. Uh, and if not, then uh, you can contact support and they'll be ready uh, to handle that for you. So I'm just going to verify and continue. App successfully installed. Yay, that's amazing. Now the next thing is, I don't have any reviews, so I can either import from a CSV file. Uh, they do give you a template, uh, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And when that opens up, it's going to give you this. So the product handle, so it depends on uh, what the product is, uh, and it's not the title. So it's calling for the product handle, and then the state, if it's published or drafted or, or um, however they have it. I think drafted, and then the rating of what a customer rated. So this is just a demo uh, of the format that they require for um, uploading the reviews. If you do decide to um, create them, upload them um, from a CSV, and then the author, the email, location, and um, the body of it as well. And then the reply if there is time and the timestamp. Uh, so uh, the example product, so I don't have any reviews, but just wanted to show you that that is how you install um, and configure the product reviews. Now let's go in and let's go into another one, all recommended apps, just because you, know, you can go into this way um, and they give you some really common great uh, apps, uh, but if you need 
of being a library, you can just go to the App Store. So I'm just going to go into the um, Judge Me, and there is a free plan. There are um, some paid plans as well if you want for image, um, reply back services, things like that. So EG um, snippets and to judge me. Now do remember that uh, if you have uh, two apps, doing this for demo purposes, if you have two apps and you uh, have on the display like two different style uh, reviews, things like that, two, two different style star reviews, um, just go into it and uh, go into your apps and see which one is active there might be two that are active at the same time so you need to disable and then delete if you want to uh, change out different review apps as well so i'm going to just for judge me i'm in this state and i am going to use um, my default one the one that is live and i'm going to start my setup um, now it tells me as a uh, informational uh, make sure to save your theme after each step Okay, so I did that. So now it tells me to enable with the green uh, with the green button to enable my app. And so to find that, if you're in your theme uh, your your theme dashboard, you're gonna go into the app right over here, the app settings, the app embeds, and then you're gonna just toggle this on or off. So it automatically toggled on for me. And I don't have any reviews as well, but that is simply how to just uh, toggle on the apps um, for, the, for the reviews. And I'm just going to click Save. Where was that? Next step. And then I'm going to install my widget. So now it's going to refresh, bring me to a new page. And now review widget added. And that's right over here. So now I have two uh, review widget blocks. So now I have the, um, the uh, product reviews and then also this one. So I'm going to just remove this because I don't need to. Uh, so then they'll, they won't be as, you know, um, conflicting. So I'm just going to move, remove, move that up here. So it looks all nice. And this is just for uh, sample reviews. It tells you uh, that's how uh, the format is for demo purposes. Um, if you'd like to see on what a customer would view, you go into the full screen, and then uh, desktop is kind of like your, um, your work board or your uh, workspace. Uh, so right over here, this is for the Judge Me. It has Judge Me icon. In my app settings, I have that toggled on. Um, there are a couple different steps from uh, Shopify product reviews compared to uh, Judge Me, but this is how for Judge Me to uh, enable the reviews. So uh, when I go into here, then I can make make section margins as same as theme. So this means it's kind of like uh, with the same margins, the spacing from side to side. Uh, and then you can also have reveal sections on scroll, and this is specifically for the Judge Me app. Uh, and then you can have custom CSS as well. Um, so for this, this could be for changing out the, the, uh, the stars, the people, things like that. Um, however, there are some settings in the app itself. When you go into Judge Me app, uh, you can customize the widget a bit more, Dis, uh, dismiss. And right now I'm on the uh, free plan, so continue using the free plan. So you can go into here. There's a lot of pop-ups. You can go into here. I already installed it. I can customize my widget and uh, the same process, um, import reviews. If I already have reviews, let's say from uh, Etsy, I would have to convert that from Etsy to their uh, to Judge Me um, templates in order for it to display as well. So customize widget. What that looks like is I can change it uh, based on my theme colors to a different color right over here. Um, you can choose different colors, or you can actually go and input the uh, direct hex color. Add secondary uh, widget, um, and that explains this color will be applied to, this color will be applied to replies background. Um, so you kind of want to make this a, a nice white or a, a muted color so it's nice and visible for contrast for the text. Um, and then you can add star ratings. Um, and we already handled the, the installation. So a lot of these other ones are the paid example. So if you don't, if you're just starting out, uh, Shopify product reviews would be the best way. And then after that, you can go into a more paid plan. Judge Me is a higher tier. And then after that, there is a Loops uh, review, which um, I think is great for just start when, after you're just starting out to 
your business when you're trying to actually scale. Um, so looks, and then I'll give you a list at the very bottom in the description of the more common uh, reviews to check out as well. But that is how to, and then you can view what it looks like on the product page. Scrolling down here, and I have no reviews, but it does look really nice, and it's in a nice container. So that is how to uh, enable and configure your Shopify review apps. And uh, it's the same logic for most of them. Just follow the steps um, like in this. And thank you so much.